So guys, on 14th of April, OnePlus is going to be launching its OnePlus 8 series in which they are going to be launching the OnePlus 8, the OnePlus 8 Pro and the OnePlus 8Z. So guys, with these three smartphones, you are definitely getting true value for the money package. But in today's video, I am going to be discussing regarding the OnePlus 8 Pro. Well guys, last year OnePlus launched the OnePlus 7 Pro, which was one of the best smartphones of the year. Or you can directly say it was the best smartphone of the year. Whereas this year, OnePlus is going to be taking things to next level. Well guys, they are going to be launching or they are going to be introducing two new things with this smartphone. And these things make this smartphone way more extraordinary. So guys, in my today's video, I am going to be telling you all of the crazy features or all of the crazy specifications of the OnePlus 8 Pro. So without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, if I have to tell everything about the OnePlus 8 Pro in one single sentence, that will be, you are paying the price for the speed. Well guys, with this smartphone, I can tell you definitely that this is one of the best smartphones of this year. We have just entered into 2020 and guys, I can already tell you that this is the true flagship smartphone by OnePlus. I don't need to tell anything. First of all, let me discuss the spec sheet of this phone. Well, you are getting a 120Hz refresh rate AMOLED display, you are getting an in-display fingerprint sensor, you are getting the Quadcom Snapdragon 865 processor, you are getting it with the Quadcom X55 modem that supports 5G, then you are getting 8 or 12 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM and you are getting 128 GB or 256 GB of UFS 3.0 storage. And guys, the most interesting factor of this smartphone is that you are getting a 30 watt wired charger and you're getting a 30 watt wireless charging support and you're getting the ip68 water rating well guys all of these features or all of these specifications are definitely true flagship level so guys, all of the current OnePlus series come with premium bodies. They have the glass bags and overall a nice coating. Well guys, everybody will believe that if there is a glass bag in a smartphone, there will be a wireless charging. But till today, in none of the OnePlus smartphones, there was a support for wireless charging. And the second factor was, you are getting all of the premium designs. but you know oneplus never opted for a ip rating but this time they have suddenly introduced both of these features and they are doing it with the most greatest perfection well guys they are just copying like apple literally apple is never first to the party but whenever they come with a particular technology they do it with perfection and this time oneplus has also opted this rule and they are launching this smartphone with the ip68 water rating which is always better than the ip67 whereas with this smartphone you are getting a 30 watt wireless charging support well guys oneplus never opted for any wireless charger and this time in the first wireless charging smartphone by oneplus they are directly opting for 30 watts of fast charging well as currently the 30 watt fast charger is not even available in market but this smartphone has this incredible technology so guys, for a quick comparison, the iPhone 11 Pro supports a 18 watt wired charging, whereas it supports a 7 watt wireless charging. And the OnePlus 8 Pro is directly supporting 30 watt wireless and 30 watt wired charging. So, so guys, there are only two Android competitors for the OnePlus 8 Pro. You are talking about the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and the recently launched Huawei P40 Pro. Well, guys, with both of the smartphones, you are getting incredible functionalities, but Whereas the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and the Huawei P40 Pro are focused mainly on the cameras. You are talking about 100x space zoom and 108 megapixel cameras and whatnot. But you are just talking about the price tag. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra starts at $1400, which is an incredible price tag for any smartphone. Whereas the Huawei P40 Pro is little bit cheaper than that, but it has not a Google Play support. It has not having any Google applications so that is a downside whereas the OnePlus 8 Pro will not have any of these problems and this smartphone will start at $700 so guess for the price tag of $700 if you are going to be getting all of these crazy specifications this will be the true flagship smartphone if you are planning to buy any smartphone in Android category well guys this smartphone will be the beast and not just that OnePlus is also going to be launching the OnePlus Z which is going to be 
the uh, affordable range smartphone whereas the OnePlus 8 is going to be the standard variant. So guys, this was everything which I wanted to include in my today's video. Well guys, the OnePlus 8 Pro is truly a flagship smartphone in the best price possible. We are currently understanding that the OnePlus smartphones are increasing in terms of the price tag. Whereas definitely for the price tag even, you are getting the value for the money smartphone. Well guys, this is a complete flagship smartphone and if this smartphone will start at $700, this will be one of the best smartphones of 2020. So guys, on 14th of April, OnePlus is going to be launching the smartphone officially, whereas they have given us a couple of teasers regarding this smartphone. So guys, this was everything which I wanted to include in my today's video. And guys, we have to complete 10,000 subscribers as soon as possible. And it can only happen with your support. So guys, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and I will meet you with another beautiful video. Until then, peace.